So today we are going to go through how I graded this shot for a Korean drama look. And I have some of my references up on screen. So if you take a look at them, a few characteristics that we can try to imitate is number one, the vibrancy of their colors. They are not afraid to use that color boost to make everything just pop out. And number two, their blacks are not true black and their whites are also not true white. So we will need to push some colors into them in our look note. And lastly for the skin tone, they went for a more orange tone but still keeping it naturalistic to fit the whole scene. To summarize this look, is vibrant and flat. The clips that we are using in this shot was shot by me on a Sony A7 III in S-Log 2 8-bit. So you see that I will make small adjustments to the wheels because our play area is super limited. Now let's get into the video. Alright, so I got my clip here loaded up in the color tab. The first thing that we're gonna do is to find a hero frame where everything in the clip is inside one frame. So I play back a few times and pick a frame. This right here should be good. We have both of them in the shot and also a good amount of the sky. So once that's done, we'll start building our node tree. I will build the whole node tree first, then only label it afterwards. Let's start with three serial nodes, followed by three parallel nodes with a mixer, then one serial node at the end. So this grid will have a total of eight nodes and we'll start labeling the nodes. Node one is our exposure, Node 2, white balance. Node 3, saturation. Node 4, look. Node 5, adjustment. Node 6, sky. Node 7 is our mixer. And lastly, node 8 is our glow. The first three nodes are my correction nodes, and these parallel nodes are for grading. And finally, one post grading node. Now that everything is ready, we can start grading. We'll start on exposure. You can apply a lot for this, but I like to do my color correction by hand because you can get more control with it most of the time. Make sure you're on the primary views. I'll first work on my leaf, drag it all the way, then pull it back to somewhere right above the lower limit of the RGB parade. You can refer to your RGB parade on your right. Let's do the same for my gain all the way up, then pull it back. This time I want it right below the upper limit of my RGB parade. Now for white balance, I don't think I'm going to touch it yet because we can't really see the color without pulling up the saturation. So let's do saturation. Let's go to the RGB mixer tab and max out all the outputs, red, green and blue. We'll go to the key tab and lower down the gain which is sort of like the opacity of this node. Same process, we'll click and drag it till it sits somewhere you want it to be. So I guess it's around 0 0.8. You might think why not I just do it in the saturation wheel provided. Yes, you can actually do it. It's actually the same thing but I feel like I have more control over the saturation by using this method. Now we'll come back to our white balance and I'm seeing a bit of a green tint. So I'll just move the tint to the right to add a bit of magenta and I'll leave it at 6. Right, that's it for color correction. From here on, we'll start color grading. For the look, we'll be using a green and orange contrast, but this time with saturated shadows for a stylized look. So we'll go into our leaf and push towards the green. Now this is 8-bit footage, so I can't really push it a lot. So I'll just do a little bit. Next, we'll go into Gamma and push a little orange in. Try to get the skin where you want it to be. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with this skin tone. Now we can go into our long wheels and push a little bit of green into the shadows to give it some saturation. And same goes for the midtones, push it towards green. I also want to lift up the mid-tones a little, so I'll just create two points on the curve and lift this point up like this. Moving to the hue versus hue curves, we can start by creating some points on the curve and I'm going to drag the green downwards to add a little more style into the clips. Same goes for yellow and blue points. I'm not going to bullshit you and say that there's a science to this because I'm just going to go with my gut feeling on what looks best to suit the K-drama team. For hue versus saturation, I'm going to drag up the reds, yellows, green and teal but lower down the blues. 
And for hue versus luminance, I'm going to lift up the orange to brighten up the skin a little. And something I like to do is to lower the reds in the luminance to push a richer color into their lips and cheeks. Just by a little bit. And we are also going to drag down the blues to flatten the contrast of the sky. Okay, that's it for our look note. For the adjustment note, we are mainly going to do three things. One, give it a color boost. Two, soften up the midtones. And three, brighten up the clip. So we're going to give it a color boost with this wheel right here. Around 16.5 will do. You can adjust it for less if you feel that it's too vibrant. And then we'll decrease the midtone details to negative 35. I'm not sure if you can see the difference here, but this is the soft look that you usually see in Korean dramas. Then we'll make another two points on the curve and drag the upper point to brighten up the clip again. Moving on to the sky note, I'm going to use my qualifier to drag on the sky to select it. Make sure you have a nice selection. You can use the shortcut key Shift plus H to see a selection. Add a bit of denoise and blur radius to smoothen out the selection. Then we'll drag our gamma and gain towards the blues to add more saturation into the sky. Now I'm not liking the tone of the sky, so I'll just adjust it in my hue versus hue, and also reduce the saturation in my hue versus saturation. For the glow note, I'm going to add the glow effect onto the note. and adjust the threshold where the area on the effect. Okay, don't be scared, we can lower down the brightness in the settings down here. Alright, that's the Korean drama look that I'm going for, so let's turn off all the notes and quickly go through it one by one. We started off with exposure, and then we did a bit of saturation, and then we corrected the white balance by adding it a bit of magenta. And then for the look note, we added the look to it and then we adjusted the brightness and the midtones. And then we qualified the sky and add a bit of saturation. And then lastly, we added a bit of glow. So here's the before and the after. I hope you can follow along the tutorial. If there's any questions at all, feel free to drop a comment and there are some steps in the tutorial that seems counterintuitive, but I've tried to simplify all the steps so that it's easier for you. The original grade for this clip was way more complicated. If you like the video, you know what to do, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.